just doing a little walk into my camp walking through some nice local woods weather's ridiculous it's raining on and off I mean these walks they're lovely it's nice in the autumn with all the different colours still a lot of fallen wood around to get past but the path's not too bad a few slippy bits it'll open up into some pine woods in a minute there we go look at this for a nice walk beautiful it's a well white one this is everything's flooded this stream is normally about five foot down. I like to see a flooded river, as long as you don't, don't have to be in it, it's nice. Coming out of the uh, pine woods now, there's your normal forest, young woodland. Beautiful. Coming out of the pine forest now into the normal young woods. I've got a new DD Hamex super light tarp to try out. We're expecting, we've had rain this morning, it's raining on and off now. We're expecting heavy rain in the night, so I think this is going to be the night and I have to pack up out the bivy and the small tarp in the rain, so I'm quite looking forward to it. I'm just using the local woods today because I fully expect to be soaking wet in the morning. I'm going to be home for a shower and a nice warm up. But I've been looking at my rucksack. Using my uh, Exos 58 rucksack, putting the thermals in for night time, I've got the weight down to 7.1 kilos and that's the army bivy, sleeping bag, mat, thermals, everything I need, 7.1 kilo. Well obviously my waterproofs, what I've got on isn't counted in that and there's a down jacket I've shoved in as well which is another 500 grams. So you're looking at 7.7. Seven. I think realistically that's as light as I'm going to go unless I could change the rucksack for a lighter one but I like this one. Obviously there's water and food to add on to that so because there's no water source where I'm going and I'm a bit of a coffee belly as well. I've got two and a half litres of water plus my food so obviously that's pushed it up the closer to 10. Well, I've been experimenting walking the dogs this last week and a comfortable carry for me is about 12 kilos 12 13 pushing it it's talking a weight I can carry and walk comfortably long distances so if I was to pack my winter tent three kilo and my winter sleeping bag two kilo that's an extra five I could just do it with the rest of the kit in here so I think this is going to be my benchmark I can't go any lower I don't want to go any higher so uh, we'll get set up with these tarps try a few configurations and I'll come back hello there I was going to go in the local woods which is about a quarter of a mile over that way but uh, I got in there about two o'clock, quarter to two. And the next thing is there was a, a gaggle of blokes turned up with shotguns and dogs and they were shooting. I don't know what they were shooting. I saw hares and deers in the wood, but I think they were shooting bird life. But uh, there's a few pheasants and what have you around there. So I've had to come out of the wood. And I've just come across the farmer's sheep fields and there's these little there's these little areas that are fenced off with barbed wire 
and they've got the young trees in and that. So I've just picked this one, it's in a nice spot. I've got this new DD Super Light small tarp. I'll run through how it's set up in a minute, but it's just an improvement on, on the setup I used to use. I used to have the magic carpet just coming up here, stopping there, and then I was in, in the open, but this is just a bit more protection. I'll run through the setup in a minute. I'm just having myself a brew. I've got the Trangia today. It's just boiled, so I'm just gonna sort that out. Once, once you fish this bit off the cooker, you can just put the uh, the cap on and it extinguishes the flame. Just get myself a brew made now. I'll run through how this top set up in a minute. So this is my new DD Superlight Tarp S. What I've done, I've tied this corner off to the tree. We'll come round. This one's just got a walking pole and a stake. I've got a ridge line, trucker's hitch across to that tree. That's my ridge line couple of stakes and I've tied the back off to that other tree there and that just gives me a bit more headroom so that's going to be me set up tonight it's going to pour with rain tonight now this is 1.5 meters wide so what I'll do I'll just drop this side down about a foot just to close it in a bit I'm looking forward to it and what I've noticed with this I'll be able to get dressed and undressed under there without getting too wet whereas my old setup with just the magic carpet I was getting too wet. So I think this is a fabulous little setup. The only thing is to do to do it like this, you do need the ridge line. Because obviously having just two walking poles, you'd be a bit limited. But uh, I'll be experimenting with this setup and seeing uh, different variations. Obviously I could put it across the ridge line as an A-frame, but that wouldn't give me the protection for the head like I've got there, because we forecast really heavy rain tonight been raining a lot already but uh, I just love the bivvy all these different little setups you can do fabulous but where I am the woods the woods are over there a quarter of a mile away so I'm just in in, on the, in the farmers fields at the minute where the sheep are and that's these little bits there's a road just over there behind them trees so I'll have to watch me light later. But these little areas, they're just fenced off, obviously to stop the wildlife picking on the young trees. It's just somewhere to come out and try the, try the new setup. I'm only a couple of miles from the house, but uh, it's great, love it. That's a fabulous little setup, look at that. What more could you want? Still part of the wildlife as well. So much quicker as well. Much more fun than a tent I'm finding. I've just dropped it down on this end so it's ready. It's a cracking little setup, isn't it? Look at that. So this is this is what it's like lying under the new little tarp. It's 2.8 long and 1.5 wide. I've dropped the bottom end to protect me. There's my bivvy. And I'll turn it round. Loads, I can just sit up under here to get changed. That's spot on, isn't it? Brew kit next to me. Rucksack on that side. 
This is fabulous. Loads of protection. Right, I'll be getting my head down soon now. I'm in my rab, I'm in my uh, army bivvy. I've got my rab neutrino 400 sleeping bag, ex-ped mat. I've got my uh, rucksack on that side. And my boots there. I've got all my brew kit and my cooker and whatever on this side. It's a, it's a good little setup. this. I'll uh, get this jacket off in a minute and I'll be snuggling down inside the sleeping bag. I'll just show you what it looks down the bottom. Plenty of, uh, plenty of cover there for protection. Spot on. I think I've found the perfect little setup here. Prote full protection for all your kit and everything at the top. And, uh, it, well, it's, it just works. So we'll uh, see you in the morning. Good morning. I've just woke up. God, there's been some rain in the night, but uh, it's perfect under here. I haven't even got much condensation. All my stuff's nice and dry at the side. I'm going to get my cooker set up in a minute. Have myself my morning brew. I've had a good sleep. I didn't even need the thermal top on. I've just I've just put in my t-shirt in the sleeping bag done up. This army bib is definitely uh, warmer than the other one. But uh, I'll be using the hunker in the summer, and I'll just use this one for the uh, winter. So uh, I'll see you when I've had my brew and I've packed up. Right there we go. Just a flat spot. That's the trees. The bag's all ready to go. Leave no trace as always. It's still dark this morning, but I've woke up early, so I'm just going to get myself uh, back home. I've had a good night. Had a lot of heavy rain before, but it's eased off just for a minute, so I'm going to make a quick run for it That's now. That's me, nearly home. It's been a cracking camp, really enjoyed it. It's just been a short one, but I've done it in between the rain and what have you. And the little tarp's proved its worth, so we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.